This is part 34 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the Bootstrap progress bar component. Progress bars are used for showing the progress of tasks such as downloading a file, software installation, etc. Let's now look at an example of creating a progress bar that looks like this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. To create a progress bar, we create a div element with its class set to progress. Inside this div element, I'm going to create another div element with its class set to progress bar. Let's save our changes. When we reload this page, notice we get the progress bar as expected. But at the moment, we are not reporting any progress at all. Let's say, for example, we want to report 80% progress completed. To do that, on this inner div element, we are going to include the style attribute and set width style to 80% because that is what is the progress that we want to report. So when we reload this page, notice now we get a progress bar with 80% complete. We are not displaying the percentage value. To display the percentage value, include that value in the inner development. When we reload this page, we should have the percentage value displayed as well. Now, at the moment, we have a progress bar with solid background color. Now, if you want a striped progress bar, then in addition to the progress bar class, use progress bar striped class. This is going to give us the striped progress bar. There may be times when we want to display low percentage completed values like 0%, 1%, etc. Now, let's say, for example, we want to display 1% complete. So for that, I'm going to set width to 1%. And the value here is also going to be 1%. When we reload this page, notice the 1% is not displayed properly. To make sure these low percentage values are displayed properly, we will have to include min width style as well. So I am going to set minimum width to 20 pixels. This is going to ensure that the low percentage values are also displayed properly as expected. Here is the HTML for that. Now, let's discuss creating progress bars with different color schemes as you can see here. To create progress bars with different color schemes, we use the different contextual state classes that are available. We have progress bar success, progress bar info, progress bar warning, and progress bar danger. Let's use those contextual state classes now. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So instead of using progress bar striped, I'm going to use progress bar success. Let's change the percentage to 60%. Let's also change the value to 60%. And let's make three more copies of this progress bar. And then we will change the contextual state classes. So on the first progress bar, we are using progress bar success. Here, let's use progress bar info, progress bar warning, and finally, progress bar danger. Let's see what changes. When we reload this page, notice we get progress bars with different color schemes as expected. Next, let's discuss creating striped progress bars with different color schemes, as you can see here. To create striped progress bars with different color schemes, all we have to do is use progress bar striped class in addition to the contextual state classes that we have here. So let's use this class on all the other progress bars as well. So let's paste it on all the three progress bars. Let's save our changes. When we reload our page, notice we get striped progress bars with different color schemes as expected. Now, let's discuss how to animate these progress bars. To create animated striped progress bars, just use the active class. Let's paste this active class on the rest of the progress bars as well. Now, when we reload this page, notice we get animated striped progress bars. Now, let's discuss creating a stacked progress bar as you can see here. Let's flip to Visual Studio. To create stacked progress bar, all we need to do is place all these progress bars inside a single div element with class progress. So I'm going to delete you know, this closing div and this opening div here. Similarly, I'm going to delete 
these two as well and I'm going to delete this last div as well because in our stacked progress bar we are going to have three progress bars stacked on top of each other and I'm also going to change the percentage here to 25 I'm going to do that for all the three and then let's say we are shopping for some product so we have already logged in so login complete and we have provided shipping details as well so shipping is also complete and I have also made payment so payment is also complete the only step that is pending is you know completion so let's save our changes now when we reload this page notice we get a stacked progress bar with login shipping and payment complete you know the final step which is completing the process is what is pending so we can create a stacked progress bar like this just by placing all the progress bars within a single development with class set to progress now if you do not want um, the animation then all you need to do is remove the active class here so that's going to remove the animation from the stacked progress bar so when we reload this page we will not have the animation and similarly if you don't want the stripes remove the progress bar striped class again let's do that for all the three progress bars that we have so now when we reload our page notice we don't have the stripes anymore thank you for listening and have a great day